Hi, my name is Mrs. Overish, and I'm so glad you're here to learn with me today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about movement and different types of motion. We have our nonfiction text right here called Force and Motion by Clint Twist. There's a page in our story that talks all about motion. So we're gonna read that page today. Motion, when things are moving, they are in motion. Things in motion move from one position to another. The tiger is walking across the snow. He is in motion. Walking and running are both types of motion. So motion is a change in position. What do you think? Things that are not moving are not in motion. Their positions do not change. The tiger has stopped moving. What happens to the tiger's position when he's not in motion? So he was walking over here, which was moving his position. When he stops moving on this page, his position no longer is changing. When I think about how I'm sitting in our rocking chair right now, my body is in motion because the rocking chair allows me to rock back and forth. If I stop moving my feet to move the rocking chair, I'm no longer in motion. So my position is no longer changing. There are other ways that we can show motion and movement together. Let's go ahead and get started. Remember that motion is a change in position. So any type of motion that changes your position is a form of movement. So just standing up from my chair, I changed my position. So I showed a form of movement. Can you stand up for me? You just showed your first form of motion. Let's practice a different form of motion that we can all do together. We can all jump. Can you jump with me? When we jump, we're showing a form of movement and then motion because our position is changing. When we walk, we're also showing motion because we're changing position. Can you walk around the room for me? Nice job. We also can show different forms of movement by when we are doing jumping jacks or different things to help us exercise. That's also a form of movement. Can you do a jumping jack for me? What about dancing? When you dance, is your body changing? Is your motion and your position changing? Can you dance with me? That's also a form of movement and motion. What other forms of movement can you think of? I think of other fun things like when we have different types of seats that help us move around. This is called a wobble seat because it has us wobble back and forth. It's showing motion or movement because my position is changing because I'm going back and forth. I can go back and forth slowly or I can do it really fast. Can you move your body back and forth? Can you first do it slowly? Then can you do it really fast? Nice job. What other forms of movement or motion can you think of that you can do right there in your house? Can you clap? Right there you're showing a form of motion because you're moving your hands. Why don't you get a piece of paper and a crayon or a pencil or a marker and together we're gonna draw a form of motion. You can pick any form of motion that you wanna draw. Maybe it's one form of movement that you learned about today. 
Do you want to draw someone dancing or someone jumping? Maybe you want to draw yourself moving back and forth slowly and then fast. Maybe you just want to draw someone walking. That's a great form of movement. I'm going to draw a cat. And I'm going to show my cat walking. Right now, it just kind of looks like a cat. But when I'm drawing my pictures and I want to show movement, I can put lines behind my cat to maybe show it running or moving quickly. Sometimes we can also draw wind as a form of movement and moves things. When we draw our wind, we sometimes draw these little curly cues to show wind. So how are you gonna draw your picture to show movement or motion within our picture? There's lots of different ways that we have movement. Every time your body changes a position, you are showing motion. So represent one of those in your picture today and then tell an adult in your house something that you learned about motion or movement. There's lots of fun ways that we show motion or movement with our bodies and with our friends and our family. And I hope next time that you're showing your movement, that you're thinking about how you're showing motion in your change of your position. My name is Mrs. Obersch and I can't really hula hoop, but I wish I could. And so thank you so much for learning with me today and I'll see you next time.